Thanks very much for that, Amanda. Just a 25 minute quiz. Just 25 minutes. Welcome to the 25 minute quiz. Um, I'm back again here today with uh, Barry and Linda. How are you both doing? Hi, good, prepared. Uh, hopefully prepared. Beautiful day here in Tralee. Yeah, it's very nice. For anybody who's not up on the lore of the Just the 25 Minute Quiz, um, Barry and Linda fought it out yesterday tooth and nail. And uh, it was so hectic and so flustered. <laughs> the blood was flying so much. I couldn't even take the scores. Um, and after the show was over, I got my question seats and I totted it up. And believe it or not, you were both in a tie. You both got exactly eight points. Um, and I said to these guys, uh, that's the end of the meal. You want to take your leftovers home? And you said to me, no, nah, we're going to we're going to finish our plates. So I said, OK, you guys can come back in and you can finish and decide who is the winner. Um, so I noticed you were both on earlier today. Barry, I thought your breakfast show was very good. Yeah, it was yeah. very good. And, and it's on tomorrow as well. The breaks at free breakfast. So kind of a mix of music, movies, entertainment, news. Yeah, it's, it's good fun. And a great show coming up tomorrow with Linda and James, the current affairs show, Linda. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So plenty more on that again in the morning. That's a, that's a great bit of promotion. And um, I heard as well, Barry, that uh, you guys were playing the Electric Light Orchestra. And um, one story I was telling one of the lads in the canteen was that uh, Dara came up to me and said, oh, are they just playing uh, all Beatles today? And I go, oh, I didn't think that was a Beatles song. And I whipped out my phone to Shazam it. And I said, Dara, I'm going to Shazam this now because you're making me feel unsure about myself. And my phone just heard me say, I'm feeling unsure about myself. And all the search results for how to, were how to cure depression. Oh, so I didn't get oh, to God. find out what the song was called at all. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of that's funny yeah so I'll just bookmark those for later so anyway today we're going to go Back into to business yeah we're going to go into our quiz and see which one of you two will be the victor the final crown supreme champion of the just a 25 minute quiz oh excuse me so we're going to start off today with animal knowledge so Linda you said you were My studying favorite. you were studying up hard on your animals yeah so we're just going to cue in some background music here yeah so are you ready to begin Linda Am I going first? I will begin with you today. And some of these are true or false questions. So because of that, I'm going to disable stealing of wrong answers. Because okay. obviously, if you say true and it's wrong, it's Barry false. knows what the answer is. So you ready to begin? Yep. First question. What is the largest land animal in the world? Rhinoceros. Incorrect. It Don't is say an elephant. It is an elephant. Oh, God. <laughs> true or false? Snakes have slimy skin. That has to be false. It is false. Snake skin is smooth and dry. What is the only continent on Earth where giraffes live in the wild? Go at your instincts. Yeah, Go it at has your instincts. to be Trust uh, yourself. Africa. Africa is correct. No uh, trick questions yeah, here on like, just the 25 minute yeah. quiz. How many pairs of wings does a bee have? Oh my, a bee? A bee. I don't think a bee has any wings. No. No. Well, you would be incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> Bees apparently have two pairs of wings. <laughs> have you ever heard of a buzzing bee? I have. That's, but... that's how they buzz. <laughs> <laughs> what type of animal is the largest primate in the world? What kind of animal is the largest primate in the world? That has to be a rat. A rat? <laughs> Okay, well, <laughs> just to clue you in on the primate genealogy here, we're primates, or we used to be, bigger than <laughs> us is a gorilla. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have the studio audience is really getting we angry We have at a that gorilla one. outside the window. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so next question. Is a shark a fish or a mammal? A mammal. A mammal is incorrect. Sharks are fish. Since when? <laughs> Since, <laughs> I think, to 650 million years BC, approximately. <sighs> what is the most Tricky. recognizable feature, Linda, of a hedgehog's appearance? It spikes. It's back Correct. spikes. Yeah. They are very spiky and they got to go fast. True or false? Owls are farsighted, meaning that anything within a few inches of their eyes, they can't see properly. True. True is correct. I knew I was good at animal stuff. <laughs> what is the name of an adult female horse? I know this one. Do you though? But it's just not coming <laughs> to my brain. A female horse has to be a horses. Oh, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna give you a chance to steal, Barry. I'm gonna give you a chance to make Linda feel bad. Okay. 
okay. I think it's a mayor. Correct. It is a mayor. No points for anybody. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Linda, what are baby goats called? Kids. Kids. Correct. Next question. Related to an earlier question. What is the tallest animal in the world? Has to be the giraffe. Giraffe again. Well done. My question here says the giraffe has an average height of about five meters and the tallest ever was six meters. True or false? Rabbits are born blind. True. True is correct. Now, what is the most recognizable physical feature of a male lion? It has to be its tail. Incorrect. It Don't is say its, its mane. It is its big oh, mane. Oh, gee! You could say it's its main feature. How many legs does a spider have? Eight. Correct. It has eight legs. And final question on animals. The crocodile species is believed to have been around for how long? Two million years or 200 million years? Two million? Incorrect. It is 200 million years. Really? Along with wow. sharks, crocodiles haven't really changed much since Gee. the dawn of time. So that is the end of your animal round. And you are up from your previous game score of eight all the way to 17 points. What? Wow. So really? you got nine Yay. right. So well done on that. Barry. Okay. How do you feel about animals? Yeah, should be good. If I'm as good as Linda, I'll be doing well. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what a female horse was called. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. So did I, but just yeah. left me a bit like a star is boring. I think if I got asked in a serious quiz situation, I could forget my own name. Yeah. I'd be like, uh, I know. Uh, uh, Barry. Um, so what food, Barry, makes up 99% of a giant panda's diet? I think it's bamboo. Correct, it is bamboo. Next question. True or false? Mice live for up to 10 years. Mm, false. False is correct. Mm. Mice live for up to two and a half years only. Thank God. What is the name of the phobia that involves an abnormal fear of spiders? Arachnophobia. Yes, also a uh, good questionably 90s film. What is the largest type of big cat in the world? Cheetah? Incorrect. Linda has a chance to make Barry feel bad, but not steal a point. Puma? Also incorrect. Oh, don't tell me. It's uh, the other one. <laughs> <laughs> that covers a large what range of animals. What does it start animals. with? It starts with T. No. <laughs> it's a tiger, lads. <laughs> tiger? Oh, yeah. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my. True or false? Crocodiles have no sweat glands, so they use their mouth to release heat. True. They often sleep with their mouth open to cool down. Next question. Are butterflies insects? Yes or no? Uh, yes. Yes, they are. Another point. Here's a female animal question for you, Barry. What are female elephants called? Elephantesses. Good guess, but they're apparently called cows. Okay. True or false? Bats are mammals. Mm, yes. True. Yes, they are. Correct. Next question. Bees are found on every continent on Earth except one. Which continent is that? Probably Antarctica. Correct. Again, you're flying, Barry. Next question. True or false? Cats spend an average of 13 to 14 hours a day sleeping. That's true. That is true as well. Another point for Barry. What is the fastest land animal in the world? No, we've got the questions confused. Oh, Linda, chance to steal? Cheetah. Cheetah, correct. You, you made Barry feel bad and got no points. Uh, a deer. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what is the name of a female deer? Um, a doe. Correct. I read the question backwards. It was actually a doe is what kind of animal. <laughs> you oh, got you, it anyway. You, you, you escaped well. Yeah. Coug uh, true or false? Cougars are herbivores. True. Uh, false. They are exclusively carnivores. Groups of lions are known as what? A pride. Correct. And final question. A dolphin is a mammal. True or false? True. True is correct. Wow, Barry, you blitzed it. So you are up to 19 points. So you are two ahead of Linda. How do you feel about that? Uh, it's a lot better than my film uh, answers yesterday, anyway. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the film questions I did may have been a little difficult. Um, so, we're going to move on to our next segment. I feel 
Cheated. Oh. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Oh, uh, Should have been there. I would give you bonus points for that, Linda. <laughs> but I won't. So the next segment is song lyrics. So I am going to read and do my best to not sing lyrics to famous songs. If you can tell me the name of the song, you get a point. And if you can tell me the name of the artist, you get another point. Oh, God. And we're bringing back the old stealing rule because true and falses are gone. So we're going to allow you to steal if the other person knows the answer. Hooray. <laughs> so we'll give you a break, Barry, after okay. your animal round, and we'll start with Linda. So Linda, start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. Um... <laughs> <laughs> New York, New York. That is correct. Yeah. Who is the artist? I don't know. Barry, gonna, chance to steal. I'm not even going to guess. Uh, Frank Sinatra? Correct. Frank Sinatra. Linda, all the leaves are brown and the sky is grey. Nodding rhythmically to yourself, mm. working through the lyrics of the song. <laughs> no, no. Not coming. Barry, chance to steal. Is there an autumn song by the Beatles? Maybe that. Yeah, incorrect. It is the California Dreamin' California. by the Mamas and the Papas. Uh, Linda, I've got sunshine on a cloudy day. <laughs> I don't want to make you feel bad, but you definitely should know this one. I know, you my girl! I know! Oh, you get one point. You get one point from my girl. Can you know the name of the band? Uh, no. Uh, the Temptations. Temptations! Oh my god, I did not. On a dark desert highway, cool wind in my hair. Eagles. Oh, very good. Yeah. Um, um, Hotel California. Oh, double pointer. Woo! First, first wow. double pointer. Well done. People try to put us down just because we get around. That's <laughs> kind of a rappy song, isn't it? <laughs> I don't think you'd call it rap, but it's got a beat to it. Yeah, no, I don't know. It's uh, The Who, my generation. No, I don't know much about The Who. Sorry, Barry, I should have given you a chance to steal oh, there. That's okay, I didn't know. Yeah, okay, good, very honest. And he drove the fastest milk car in the West. What? I think Barry might know this one. No, don't. <laughs> no clue? No, pass right? it over. Pass, no, pass it over. Do you, uh, do you know Barry? No. Oh, okay, it is uh, Benny Hill and Ernie. Wow. No, I wouldn't have known that now. Um, turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit lonely. Um, Total Eclipse of My Heart. Yes. By Bonnie Tyler. Oh, another Woo! double pointer. You're on fire. Is this real life or is this just fantasy? This is real life, I'm afraid. Um, <laughs> no, no. No. Barry, chance to steal? No, pass. Ah, oh, that is Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh, my. Oh, that was only released last November. Yes. Oh, the movie. So that ends the lyrical segment of your part, Linda. On that, you got one, two, three, four, five, six points, which brings you up to 23. Wow, congratulations. Not bad, not bad. Well done on that. Very impressed by the double pointers. <laughs> Barry, how are you feeling about your song knowledge? Uh, I think it'll be like my film knowledge. We'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll give it a go. We'll see how we get on. So firstly, I work all night. I work all day to pay the bills. I have to pay. Ain't it sad? Uh, pass, I'm oh, sorry. Linda, chance to steal. I know it, but I just don't know the, word, the answer. <laughs> the answer is money, money, money from ABBA. Oh, okay. The is it? It is. Yeah. Or, well, we can, we can check that later. Yeah. The sirens are screaming and the fires are howling way down in the valley tonight. That's under a pass, I'm afraid. Linda looks like she knows. Bruce Springsteen, the river. No. Meatloaf, bat out of hell. It's close. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Barry. Okay. Young teacher. The subject of a schoolgirl fantasy. Oh, it's like my film. Sorry. Pass. Linda. Chance to steal. What is it again? Young teacher. The subject of schoolgirl fantasy. No. It is the police. Don't stand so close to me. Oh. Next one, Barry. Sitting in the morning sun. I'll be sitting when the evening comes. I'm afraid... Still sitting in the sun, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. Linda? Sitting in the dock of the bay. Oh, yes, Yay. correct. I don't know who sings it, though. Uh, Otis Redding. So that's one successful steal. 
Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Um, Simon and Garfunkel? Yes. And it's the albums that are the song? Uh, the song, the song. I'm afraid I don't know that one. Um. Linda, chance to steal. Hello, darkness. No, the, the lyrics are never in the bit that I'm going to read out. Um, uh, I do know it. Um, sound of Silence. Yes. Yes. Oh. Woo. Well done. Well done. Um, it's nine o'clock on a Saturday. The regular crowd shuffles in. If I could pick any person who would definitely know this, it would be Lloyd Fitzgibbon listening outside. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Linda? Billy Joel, the piano man. Correct. Oh, wow. Double pointer steal, the first in the show's history. <laughs> Next question. I've got my first real six string bought it at the end. Sorry, I should read that again. I got my first real six string, bought it at the five and dime. Famous wedding song. I see lots of men wear ties around their heads like bandanas to sing this one. Dolly Parton? I'm afraid it is not. Linda. Brian Adams, Summer of 69. Yes, it is. Another double stealer. Linda is the thief, the thief of this quiz. <laughs> Everything is being stolen. Final question, Barry. My baby don't mess around because she loves me so. This I know, faux show. That's another pass, I'm afraid. Linda's dancing, dancing in place very quickly, trying to get to the chorus. It's the Beatles. It is not the Beatles. The Monkees. It is also not the monkeys. I'm going to have to give you another. <laughs> the Bee Gees. That is. <laughs> it's no one starting with the. That was Outcast and Hey Ya. Yeah. So that concludes our lyrical round. Just a 25 minute quiz. Just 25 minutes. Sad. So now we're on to our final segment, one that I'm very excited about. Um, getting we're nervous. going to do this one a little bit differently. Basically, I've gotten the theme songs for a number of television shows. There may be a film or two in there, Crap and these might be some from the some from the 90s, some from even the 60s, but predominantly this is about 80s shows. Okay. So, I'm not going to aim them at any particular person. Uh, when you think you know it, you can call it out, okay. but you just get one guess. Yeah. If you guess wrong, you're locked out for the rest of the song. So, okay. you can take as much time as you All want. All right, okay. Okay. Um, so, we're going to start off here. So, you know, we you know, we applied what? for the budget for buzzers. We don't have buzzers. You can just shout the answer. The name of the film you want or the program? The program is fine. Yeah, yeah. the program. Um, so we're going to start off here. Oh, hang on. Let me uh, let me stop my background music. That's Super Mario. Uh, oh, well, well spotted, Barrier. That is the uh, that is the battle theme from Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga that I've had playing under the quiz. Don't tell anybody. Linda, cheers. Correct. <laughs> Uh, yeah, taking a break from all your worries sure would help a lot. Um, just because in this case, Linda, you and Barry's voices are distinctive, you don't have to shout your name. I know, but I, I panicked. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what I was supposed to do. Yeah, well done. I won't mix you up, though. Okay, ready for the next one? Also, um... I uh, that's... MacGyver. Correct! Oh my god, MacGyver! I wouldn't, well done. I wouldn't recognize that now. I'm going to take a page out of Mr. Aaron Shrub's book and I'm going to apologize in advance if any ads play because I do not have the technology to overcome that. Let's just hear the chorus bit. Ah, oh, that is like pure... That's well spotted, Barry. That's pure I, I distilled there, 80s. Yeah. And there's a 2018 version of it as well. Oh, we'll have to talk about that later. Next TV theme song. <coughs> Star Trek. Oh, like a shotgun. Well done, Barry. It was actually quite difficult to find a version of this without the William Shatner voiceover. <laughs> that would have given it away a little bit. I wouldn't have known that now either, to be honest. But also, I did, bit, I of, <laughs> bit of behind-the-scenes trivia. I couldn't find a version of the Simpsons theme song that didn't start with The Simpsons. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> so moving on to the next song. Even I don't know what's going to come up. It's on random. Doctor Who. Oh, Barry, like a shotgun. <laughs> like a sonic screwdriver straight to the heart. I imagine you don't watch much Doctor Who, Linda. No, I didn't watch much TV in the 80s. <laughs> yeah, that's all I watched. <laughs> this, is actually, this is actually from 1963. Oh, again, so, I wasn't even around. Yeah, me neither. Okay. Me neither. 
Next TV theme song. Oh, I'm glad this one came up. Oh. Airwolf? Oh, wow, Barry. Do you even know what Airwolf is, Linda? No. Okay. Not a clue. It's about a man and his helicopter. He probably fights Russians. Everybody fought Russians. <laughs> Next theme song. Oh, yes. Murder, she wrote. Oh! <laughs> oh, you're killing me, Barry. You have a mouth before I can even hear the second song. <laughs> you are still winning, Linda. You are still winning. But Barry's... Okay, Barry, pressure's on now, so... Barry's chipping away at you like a man carving a and sculpture. And I love Murder, she wrote. Oh, it's so good. Da, da, da. Angela Lansbury. She lives in Cork. Does she? Does she? And she's about 87, I think. Man, I. She seemed like someone who should have died when I was a kid, and no she's still alive. No crime in Cork. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Habit cave. <laughs> okay. I nearly played this whole thing. I'll let it finish. That was a good show. Next song. This is an ad. Oh, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> that was bound to happen eventually. Eighteen. Oh, Barry's killing it. How many behind me is he? Uh, he is... He needs three to equalise. Okay. Next song. Friends. <laughs> <laughs> I actually know it and I'm oh. not out. Oh my God. <laughs> Was the friend's joke worth it, Linda? No! Was it worth it? Is this Little House in the Prairie? Oh, no. it's not Barry. You won't get a point, Linda. What is it, though? Dallas. No. Dynasty. No. <laughs> it's Mork and Mindy. Oh. oh I thought I would give it away at the start when he says Nanu Nanu, but I don't think you guys heard it. <laughs> that was Robin Williams. Yeah. Okay, next one. Oh, I love this. Oh, that's... I put this music in my short film that we made uh, for Mojo. That's... No, um, he's a doctor. Um, no guesses. My adrenaline is pumping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to move on if you guys Matlock? don't. No. It is my luck. Oh, oh my, my god! god Linda. You oh you've you've well moved done. ahead. Well now Barry needs three to equalize. Bless you, Andy Griffith. Looks of confusion and head shaking. Is it Remington Steel? It's not Remington Steel. Not Landing. It is not Not Landing. This is Taxi. Oh yeah. Okay. With uh, Danny DeVito and um, Andy Kaufman. I'll be sad if nobody gets this. I probably won't. Is that Dempsey and Mike, please? No. no. It's not Family Ties. It's not Family Ties. That is Quantum Leap. Oh, yeah. It's a sci fi thing. <clears throat> yeah, it is, isn't it? Mission Impossible? Yes! I'll skip straight on in the hopes Barry can claw this back, but we're running out of time. Knight Rider. Oh my oh god! Jeez! <laughs> Two away. Did you get show him this earlier? Ah. Uh, skip on. La Make this the last one. Jaws! What? <laughs> I don't even know what you said. <laughs> Did you say Joe's? Jaws. <laughs> oh, Jaws. Is it, is it the green hornet? It's not. It's something green. It's the monsters. Okay. I'm afraid we're going to have to call it there, guys. Thank you very much for oh playing. Linda, great. you won. Yay. You beat Barry Woo by two. So, Linda, you finished with 10, 20, 30, 31 points. And Barry, you finished with 29. Fair play. It was great I'm play. actually surprised how much I listened in national school You're for those animal questions. <laughs> very good. Very That's good. That stuff from national school. Like, I was surprised.
Anyway, thanks, Dave. Thank you both so much thanks, for playing. Dave. That was I'm, fantastic. I'm going to leave you all with whatever the next TV theme song is. Goodbye. I bet you're trans.